If you are looking for the best renewable energy inventions in hydroelectric power, then this is the perfect video for you. Starting off with number 15 is the Plat 1. The Scottish company Sustainable Marine has created the Plat 1 innovation which is an inventive floating tidal energy system. The Plat 1 is outfitted with 6 in screen turbines that can create as much as 70 kilowatts, and that implies that the whole stage can convey 420 kilowatts of energy. Its foundational layout implies it may very well be sent in any part of the planet with simple easy assembly on site. is the pumped storage hydropower is an energy storage system that implies the act of pumping water upwards from one storage reservoir to another which is higher than it is the water is then stored in the raised reservoir storage when energy or power is needed the water is open to flow downhill through networks of turbines to a lower water reservoir. The process of water flowing down generates electric power. Because of the incredible amount of energy scale the pumped hydro power station produces it makes it one of the most used type of grid level energy storage system that is commonly used today based on megawatts. Number 13 is the Waveline Magnet. Meet the Waveline Magnet by Sea Wave Energy Limited, also known as Swell for short. This long yellow raft type device harnesses the power of the ocean to compete with fossil fuels. Swell has been developing this energy device for over 10 years a journey which has led them creating this unique design. Their years of testing in wave pools and the ocean have led them to the unique waveline magnet design. The pumps of the raft suck up the seawater and pressurize it. The pressurized seawater is how the device harnesses the raw power of the waves which can then be used to create electricity and hydrogen. This is an incredible prototype which will be launching in the near future. we have the UniWave 200. This device is essentially a floating power plant developed by Australian company Wave Swell Energy. The UniWave 200 transforms wave energy into zero emissions electricity. The floatable construction can be towed into any coastal location and connect to that area's local power supply. The UniWave utilizes an oscillating water column which acts as a sort man-made blowhole. As waves pass over it the water column rises and falls pushing air towards a turbine at the top, which in turn generates electric energy. At number 11 we have the Natel Energy Micro Hydro. This is a new miniature hydroelectric turbine from Natel Energy. The purpose is to bring much needed energy to remote areas using cheap, sustainable, fish-safe hydroelectric power. In fact Natel Energy says it is cheaper than providing off-grid solar power. It's designed to have a safe through turbine fish passage. To achieve this, the turbines have curved blades that are thick and have a specially designed slant. Because of this the fish are safe to swim through. The turbine's capacity range from 30 kilowatts to 3 megawatts. The miniature turbine has shown fish passage survival rate of over 99%, which is extremely good of a turbine of this size. Francis Turbine. They are the most favored turbines. They add to 60% of the world's hydropower basically in light of the fact that they can work proficiently under a wide assortment of working conditions. Francis Turbine cutting blades are exceptionally molded. Since water flow enters radiantly and leaves axially, they are also called mixed flow turbines. Water flow is connected via an inlet nozzle. Stay vanes and guide vanes are specially fitted at entrance of runner and the main purpose of them is to transform one part pressure of energy to kinetic energy. At 9 we have the 
the WaveStar machine. WaveStar machine has been dedicated to developing commercial wave energy technology since 2003. This prototype is operating with two floats and the full-size plant will have 20 floats which will be able to produce enough electricity to power 400 residential homes. However, the initial plan is to make a bigger version that can supply electricity for 4,000 households. The system uses a computer to measure waves and if signals determine waves to be too violent, the floats are automatically raised out of operation until the seas settle down again. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos like these. At 8 is the Weptos. This floating contraption converts waves into electric energy. The Weptos is a V-shaped energy converter. The device rotors spin a central axle that is connected to a generator. The rotor delivers electricity through a simple but reliable system. This energy is converted through one-way rotation of a common axle. The system can adjust the angle of its two legs to harvest more power and withstand extreme weather. It has a secure anchoring system configured for almost any ocean depth, and the company claims the system is fully recyclable. At 7 is the Water Rotor. Water Rotor is a rotating turbine device that is installed in slow-moving waterways to harness water power and generate electricity. It can operate in water speeds as low as 2 miles an hour and the targeted sweet spot of around 4 miles an hour. Water Energy Solutions developed this product to bring accessible and affordable energy. The device converts both ram torque and lifts forces, creating a modern era in high energy extraction from low-speed unidirectional flow. It is proven to function in oceans, canals, rivers and under ice. The rotor has no detrimental impact on its host waterways and does not endanger fish. At 6 we have the in-stream turbines. Specialists foresee that by 2030 15% of the universe's energy need could emerge out of kinetic energy. This is where in-stream technologies are filling in the gap. All that's needed is a brief time to set up these sort of turbines. According to a development expert these in-stream turbines can be set up in one day and the impact on the environment is minimal. The world is viewing it coal and oil as a depleting asset and water gives an endless measure of sustainable power. Number 5 is the Marine Turbine. A marine turbine produces power electricity using the power of ocean or river flows, a free and bountiful renewable source. Utilizing a batch, the marine turbine fixed to a metal construction is lowered on the seabed. The power of the water caused the blades to begin to rotate. The connection between the electromagnet of the rotor and the copper wire coils of the stator then, at that point, create an electric flow. The momentum created in this manner is then changed over completely to create direct current by a converter which is then sent through a submerged cable to onshore then to grid. Before we have the Turbulent Vortex Turbine. Micro-hydro power plants are an eco-accommodating, environmentally friendly power sources available today. They create clean energy from streams, waterways and trenches without interfering with the natural habitat. With almost zero CO2 emissions and a high plant factor energy yield, Micro-hydro is an ideal answer for completely practical off-the-grid rural electrification. The low rotations per minute and curved blades furthermore allow the aquatic life to pass unharmed. Turbulent offers an answer to generate stable, reliable and affordable green energy for the local people to help the planet while making a sustainable profit. the Menesto. Unlike any of the other turbines this one is a kite-like turbine that has wings that push the turbine through the water in a figure-eight shape pattern. 
covering a big area at relative speed that is several times faster than natural speed of the underwater currents. This makes it a great alternative to harness low-flow type streams in underwater currents. The turbine is connected to a generator that provides energy through a power cable on the seabed, then the power cable transfers the electricity to the onshore station. the screw turbines. The river naturally flows downstream through the hydropower screw. A generator then launches the initial rotation of the screw pump. Then the water rotates the screw, thus generating electricity. A gearbox accelerates the hydro screw speed up to generator speed. The generator turns the mechanical energy into electrical energy. The fish-friendly construction allows fish to pass through unharmed. A fish pass also enables fish to swim upstream. The screw can generate power of up to 800 kilowatts per hydropower screw. And at number one we have Freudenau and Jockenstein. The Freudenau power station is a run of river power station on the Danube in the Austrian capital Vienna. Both power plants can be used as a bridge by pedestrians and cyclists. In the machine house, which is located between the locks and the weir, sets of machines generate electrical energy for the public grid. Each of these sets consists of Kaplan turbines with directly coupled three-phase generators. The nominal output of the turbines is 30.3 megawatts and the nominal flow rate per turbine is 500 megawatts metric tons per second. In total, the plant has a bottleneck capacity of 172 megawatts. Jockenstein likewise serves as a border crossing between Upper Austria and Bavaria, and is therefore also open to cyclists and people on foot. The power plant, which has a bottleneck limit of 132 megawatts and is the most remarkable power plant of the border power plants group and equipped for providing around 221,000 families with power created completely from hydropower. If you like this video then you will probably love this one too.